Radio YouTube. New flag to go on. It's a little bit late. But better late than ever. Pretty cool. Here of YouTube and good morning. I'm at a lovely little campsite. And the guy is called Bob. Yeah, Bob. Uh, he's a fantastic guy. He's a um, bit of a 60s hippie, but oh, he's such a nice guy. And the campsite he's got, let me screw on up a tree. It's like for a bikers, a motorbikers, or a uh, um, motorbike or push bike. So he has things, yeah, because the the struggle uh you know uh the push bikes you know the struggle with things so like in the in the greenhouse he has spare roll mats blow up sleeping bags stuff like that to make them comfortable if they need but uh yeah you know only for, obviously only for a loan but because bikers and stuff, they struggle for the having mats sometimes. A bit of a kids play area. Very cool. And obviously, there's signs. But you love this. I love this. Look at the floor. That is just so, so cool. In the roof. Really, really cool. In fact, I'm going to use it. After me, I am beautiful, I am powerful, I love me, I mean it. <laughs> Scary. A little beat of people's place. Well, shut up, 35 an hour, now I speed to me. But there's lots of uh, things like this about. He used to work on the uh, bin trucks. The funny part of this thing here is it's a booby meter. So the women, if they want to do, put the breasts in here to see how big they are. And if men watch, which men are, they have to donate to the tub. And that goes to the breast foundation cancer you know cancer research for the breast foundation which is very good now there is rumors of a man one as well but i don't think many women want to see men's things this is a, a homage to a, a biker who passed so and it's just like a, a monument to him and the kids bike and the uh, tapestry carpet thing what well, used to belong to a child who was abused by his grandma and sadly died kind of a monument to him 
Oh, these little fish and pond. Very nice refreshing water. Put them in these little super reef. <laughs> but this is such a such a cool place. And then a little uh, it's not a tuk tuk but it is, used to be a a parcel not a parcel a letter delivery. This is so cool. Still works as well. Yeah, there's lots of little uh, things kicking about. He has some uh, teepees. So I suppose if some people want to set up in there, they can do. Quite clever. Cozy in here, really. Yeah, Ella would love this. Pretty cool. But the uh, lots of old <laughs> mini motor. I suppose people bring bikes and just dump bikes off, and that's like a bit of a Frankenstein. <laughs> But uh, yeah, little oh, quack. Looks like he's been in a, a fence. Oh, that's uh, different. So oh, that's a V mount. Looks like a V. -mount. Piece of art. <laughs> Let's get down in the ditch. That's old Hondas, Franking bikes. But retired. Oh, that's another one that's been dragged out of. Uh, is there no uh, But this is the road uh, going down to uh, I can't remember what road it is but I'll put it in the description. Going down to where the filmed uh, Twilight further further down is the the uh, line. But this is a cycle camp, and they say it's for motorbikes and push bikes. So if you're ever in this area with a motorbike or a push bike and need a place to camp, this is the one. So you don't actually need because uh, a lot of the push bikes and motorbikes can't carry the stuff uh, sometimes they need to be really really comfortable but this place has it uh, so if you need extra blankets extra sleep mats somewhere to cook something to cook on and as I show you the building now there is uh, like a communal fire pit grill barbecues and bottles of water, it's like this a bit of food is for mainly the push bikers who struggle with stuff like this. And then fridge, a fridge and a freezer, so they can put beers in or whatever. There is a oven, an electric hob, but that's not in the minute, that's not wired up. And there's just a this one's empty. I think, I think the gas is wired up. Yeah, that's on gas bottles. And the sink. 
microwave and stuff so they can actually cook under here if need and they don't need cooking equipment because it's all here if need and one of the coolest things is this this is so cool happy campers and we are thankful so people are putting thankfulness things on here so these are a lot of things that people are thankful for and there needs to be one retirement on there as well hippie parades wealth but yeah that is so cool really really cool here's the communal area it's a nice big fire pit a seating area and a lovely young lady uh, doing a new mooch. Muriel, Muriel, is it Muriel? Very cool, is that still running? Yeah. Hmm. campsite and you need to come if you're a biker even though I'm not a biker but very cool guy very nice guy so it really good if you're on a motorbike or a push bike stop say hello to Bob and he'll have a good night's kit there is shower toilets over there as well and like campsites you don't have to pay for the shower or toilet no it's a shower but Bob works on a it doesn't charge you but you leave a donation if you've had a good time and you have like facilities leave a donation which is really cool so and he'll explain to you because if he doesn't like you he won't let you stay but yeah it's really cool definitely worth a stay in I've stayed here two days so far. So, right, I'll see you later. Some bit, some behind me. Right, I've stayed here for two days, so it's been very good. Very enjoyable. Lots of people here, good chatting. Right, catch you later. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. uh, Landy Andy 4x4. Four And the budding artist working on her computer. <laughs> so this is the garage wall. The happy campers. And what we are thankful for. Which I can remember. And you'll see a lot of recognised names. I put retirement on. And everybody's thankful for Bob's, and as always, 
boobies. But also that as well. Super cool. Well, thanks Bob. Uh, it's a shame that you're not here so I could say goodbye. But hopefully you ever see this video. But yeah, thanks. It was a fabulous time. I really enjoyed it. Such a nice guy. I know wish there were more people like you in the world. I really do. Right, thanks a lot and I will see you later. So if anybody is around this area, which I'll put up on screen, it's uh, the bike, some other club, which I'll put that on the screen as well. So, catch you later. Bye -de bye. Yo YouTube, well today I am at a, a nice little place and we'll have a wander around and see what we can see. But this this guy here, who's, who's, who's pretending to not, not listen to me, he's basically 43 years is it? Did you say 47, 47 years? He's been collecting things off the beach. And there's a lot of things. Oh, let's go and have a look. Yeah, an awful lot of years. Surprised the glass balls survive, actually. What are all these coloured tags off? Are they? That's the crabber's license. That's to be on the buoy that marks their pot. All right, yeah. It's an awful lot of plastic that you've got out of the sea, that's for sure. Yeah. Awful lot. And I suppose there's bits of ships as well that's... See, it is an old chain, is that? So a lot of this area around here has come a tsunami in Japan, however it was, a lot of these, that's where this lot's come from, but, and you see, yeah, that signpost like this, that's come all the way. Japanese balls. Wow. Crab pot bait boxes.
Let's look close. A lot of bees coming. It's like an injected diesel pump. Bones. And there's a lot. These are the crab pops as well. This thing's on the roof. Mm. Awful lot of stuff. in 47 years yeah. it's just so good getting all this plastic all this plastic out of the uh, sea and glass but So there's 10 million pounds for the world. But yeah, there's an awful lot of stuff that gets washed up. And uh, there is some whale bones in the car park. Oh yeah. did say that he did I found human remains he's he's been a day late before or a day early I thought of Japanese stuff though. Interesting driftwood though. And some of the boats look pretty battered so yeah. I like the uh, the wind sock. <laughs> That's quite novel. That is very novel. Motors. Plenty of wheels. Big, big buoys. Might as well make uh, art out of them at least. Because there's not a lot else you can do with them really, is there? They use some of the things to make them like a mobile. There's a lot, a lot of them. Uh, monkey puzzle tree. That is an awful lot of plastic over the years that he's taken out. 
I suppose some of them could be probably used again. But, uh, yeah, the majority of them are old and brittle, can't be used again, so. Well, I found that interesting. At 47 years of picking crap up off the beach. Quite a good deal. Well, I shall see you later. Bye, bye. -bye. YouTube. Well, I'm on a beach. And you have to turn your hand over. Look. It's bright because I bought my sunglasses. Now, this beach, oh, good way, has a tree of life. Which, it's a tree that's hanging on by its roots. It's all been washed out. So, I'm going to have a wonder. Look at all this driftwood. or not. Definitely being washed out from underneath. Sketchy at all. A fairly big tree. The roots pretty much the only thing that's holding it. So as the banking's getting washed away, it's just undermining the trees. It's whether these trees are going to stay here for much longer, or they're going to be like that one up there. Going further, up, further up here, trees. That, if the size of one of the trees that's been washed up. Fucking huge, and just to show how huge it is, that's how big it is. If you can see, it's about the height of my shoulders, and and go from there all the way and my shoulders way way over there cool massive oh. and this is being washed up on a beach for sake and obviously there's other stuff underneath it so it's been washed up over this stuff. Huge. Really huge. So, still, not, well, it's the end, but it's the end that's here, but it's broken off. But you see, 
how long that is. Probably uh, 90, best part 100 foot. And there's more on there. Cool.